Cockney. Rhyming. Slang. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Today we're back. We're back. Today we're doing a, a fun little experiment. Today we're finding out how much Crystal has learned since she's been living here in the UK. Oh, yeah. Specifically, London. London. You sound like you're from London. Yeah. <laughs> we are in the London borough of Bromley. So, I mean, good luck coming to find us. It's the largest borough in London. It's a bit of a quiz today about Cockney. Rhyming. Slang. slang. Yeah. My family are Londoners and uh, are they from the Burm. Well done for knowing that song. All right, <laughs> already one point. My accent it is in and out of a kind of Cockney accent. So you must hear a lot of this stuff all the time. Things like, um, let's go and have a butcher's. Let's uh, go up the apples and pears. Ugh, I hate that one. But, I mean, no one ever really uses it. The thing about Cockney rhyming slang is most people use it uh, to be ironic to be to ingest. Mm -hmm. Now for all of my friends in the United States who don't know what Cockney rhyming slang is, can you give them like a little quick history on what it is? From my understanding, a quick history would sound a little bit like this. Criminals in East London <laughs> didn't want the police, the peelers, to know what they were talking about. So they made up their own language. Um, East Enders, people from the East End of London, um, if you were in earshot of the Bow Bells growing up, or wherever you lived in East London... Which are were, what? What are the Bow Bells? The Bow Bells are the bells in Bow Church in East London. So if you could hear those church bells ringing, that meant... You were a Cockney. Mm -hmm. And they made up their own rhyming slang. And you all know what slang is, because you have it there and all. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, so we're going to test Crystal Chamalia. Disney princess, New York cabaret star on Cockney rhyming slang. And it's yeah. gonna it's gonna go a little bit like this. Let's do it. I'm nervous for you. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give you 25 questions. Phrases. Okay. Okay. And, and this is taken from um, Londontopia.net's top 100 Cockney rhyming slang words and phrases. Oh, so, I have to not look. So they've got to be pretty good. Yeah, I'll make sure that you can't okay. see. All right. Are you excited? Yeah. How well do you think you know rhyming slang? You, you've heard quite a bit now. I've heard quite a bit, but I'm sure you'll say it and I'll be like, oh, wait, what no, is that one what is again? that one again? To be fair, there are a lot of Londoners and people from Britain who... Don't know what most of these mean either. So, good luck. And remember, they mostly rhyme. They are in alphabetical order, so we're going to do lots of A's and then B's and then C's, and then we're going to swap it round. Number one, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. What does it mean? Believe. I can't Adam and Eve it. Adam? I can't Adam and Eve it. Adam? How do you say Adam and Eve? What? <laughs> this is going really That's well. the bit you're having the trouble with. Adam. I literally, 10 seconds ago, said Adam and Eve. <laughs> <laughs> right. Listen, it's hard code switching because I just want to put all my as into ours. Number two. Two. Alan Wickers. Alan Wickers. Not a clue. Never heard that one. What, what do we say in England that rhymes with? Wickers that you don't say in, in America. N knickers, like for underwear. Well done. So that's what it is? Yeah. N knickers. Number three. Apples and pears. Stairs. Number four. Artful Dodger. Artful Dodger. Isn't that... Wait, wasn't that like a person though? The Artful Dodger? It was a character. It was a character. Oliver. Artful Dodger. Roger. Dodger. I don't think you're not going to get no, it. No, no, wait. Artful. Fartful. 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 I have no idea. <laughs> it's know. normally the last word of the phrase that rhymes with the actual yeah. word. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Shall I tell you? Yeah. It means lodger. Lodger. Okay. You're artful dodger. I've never heard that one either, don't worry. Okay. Number five. 
Ascot races. Places? <laughs> no idea. Never heard that one either. It means braces. Braces. Like braces on your teeth or like braces like suspenders? Don't know. And in Cockney rhyming slang, people normally say only the first word of the phrase. They don't say the one that ri actually rhymes because that will give it away. Except for apples and pears. Yeah. Or, but Adam and Eve you would say as well. Yeah, I know. Yeah. They are exceptions. Yeah. Number six. Aunt Joanna. And now this one, I've only ever heard people call it a Joanna. A Joanna. A Joanna. Banana? No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've never heard that one. It I only, wish you asked me once I knew. Uh, no, it only rhymes in our accent. Yeah, it means, Joanna. It means something you want to be able to play. A piano? A piano? Yeah, we would call it a piano. Piano, Joanna. Aunt Joanna. Oh, I played yeah. the Aunt oh, Joanna. Oh, can I have a quick go on the Joanna? Uh, right, number seven, baked bean. And we like our baked beans here. Mm-hmm, I like them too. Baked bean. You don't traditionally have them for breakfast, like baked we beans don't. on toast. No, like the only time either. I used to eat baked beans or like that... I'll get baked beans is like if I'm having like southern barbecue, like eating ribs, eating, eating ribs, ribs, baked beans, or like yeah, if you're like camping or something like that. Not yeah. that I'm frequently if you're gone desperate camping. out in the wilderness and yeah. you're about to die. But let me tell you, baked beans for breakfast, Oof. your world will change. Mm. It's so good. Anyway, They're really good. Oh, baked God. bean. Baked bean. What do we have any in Britain that you don't have in America that might rhyme with bean? I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know. Queen. Oh, a queen, duh. That one's not obvious. Baked it, bean, like... you call her, so what would you say, baked? No idea. I'd never use that phrase Baked in my life. Queen. No, I don't think that's real. I think someone just made that up yesterday. Maybe. Okay, next. Might have been me. Number eight. We're only on number eight. Baker's dozen. Baker's dozen. Dozen. I think you're gonna get this one. What rhymes with dozen? Muzzin. Buzzin. Wuzzin. Keep going. F fuzzin. Go go from the beginning of the <laughs> alphabet. <laughs> A isn't buzzing, buzzing. Oh my god, C cousin, cousin, <laughs> cousin. It was so frustrating that you lingered on buzzing. <laughs> Number nine, ball and chalk. Ball and chalk. Ball and chalk. Chalk. Because you have to say it like chalk. 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 Fork. No. <laughs> Folk. Although we do pronounce that the same. Like, it does rhyme. All and chalk. All and chalk. All and chalk. Chalk. Walk. Correct. Walk. Yeah. Yay, I got it. Number 10. Oh, he doesn't like this one. What? Barnaby Rudge. Barnaby Rudge. Grudge? No. Fudge? No. Are we doing Trudge? this again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it means judge. Judge. You might call him a Barnaby. I don't know. You will know this one. I'll know this one. Number Ooh, 11. Yeah. Barnet Fair. Oh, um, hair. Yeah. Hair. <laughs> you, it, Barnet? It's Barnet? Not, I thought it was Barnet. No, Barnet. Barnet. Yeah, Barnet Fair. What is Barnet a place? a place? Barnet's a place. Yeah. Barnet Fair Hair. Hair. You, you say to your mate Charlie, you go, <laughs> oh, you got you got a new barnet, or I like your barnet, I or, like your or bar you need to get your barnet cut, mate. Speaking of barnet, how is my how's my barnet? It's I just flipped I it around. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay. Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna notice. Number twelve, and this is a favourite. Hmm. Barney Rubble. Barney Rubble. Bubble. No. Barney Rubble. Wait. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. I know this one. I've heard this one before. Barney Rubble. Trouble? 
Barney Rubble. Trouble. Trouble. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Number 13. Battle Cruiser. Battle Cruiser. Bruiser? No. This is a, a word that we say here mostly. You wouldn't call it this, I don't think. You, I, I would never hear you call it this. But when you go down the pub, you might be going down a the... A boozer? Yeah. A boozer. You call it a boozer. I guess. Battle cruiser. Boozer. Battle cruiser. That's a weird one, isn't it? I don't know that one either. Number 14. Bees and honey. Please? <laughs> Bees? Please? <laughs> Oh no, honey, honey, <laughs> funny. No. Bees and honey. No, but that would money. be bees and honey. Money. Money, correct. Money. <laughs> oh, give me your bees. Number 15. Got my bees. This is the last one before the quick fire round. Okay. Are you excited yeah. about this? The yeah. last one to have any time to think about okay. it. Okay. Bird lime. Bird. Fine. What? Fine. Bird lime. Oh, lime? Yeah. Crime. <laughs> No. <laughs> dime. No, we're not doing this You don't have a dime. Again. No, you're wrong. You were wrong. It means time. Oh, time. Bird lime. Time bird. in prison, it means. Time in prison. Oh, when like you doing done time. Your, when you have done you done your bird? Your bird? I don't, yeah. Okay. Something like that, apparently. Okay. Right, okay. So now we're going to do ten in a quick fire round, okay? You're going to have no time okay. to think about it. Just tell me what you think okay. it is. Okay. Um, and I'm going to let you know at home if she's correct or not. Mm. Okay. I'll tell you at the end. Okay. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. Okay. Number one of these ten. Number 16. Question 16. Mm hmm Boat race. Face. Bob Hope. Rope. Bottle and glass. Ass. <laughs> Brahms and list. <laughs> and what? Brahms and list. List? Like a list. Mm, with a Z in it. Or a Z. No idea. Ass. Brass tax. Wax. Bread and cheese. Please. Bread and honey. Money. Bricks and mortar. <laughs> family member. A family member? Daughter. Bristol City. Pity. Mm, not as fun. And the last one, brown bread. Head. Well done, Crystal. <laughs> All right, give it to me. Give okay. Bubble and squeak, which is delicious. Bubble and squeak. Bubble. Uh, bubble. Squeak. And squeak. Greek. Mm -hmm. Bubble bath. Laugh. Yeah, we know that one. You having a right bubble? I'm having a right bubble. You're having a bubble, mate. Oh, you're getting all the easy ones. Butcher's hook. Look. <laughs> But also, these are easy to me, and they're only easy to you because I've taught them to you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Chalfont St. Giles? P Giles? St. Giles? St. Giles. St. Giles? Oh. Miles? Piles. Ugh. Chalk Farm? Chalk Farm. Arm. Yeah. Good job. China Plate? Mate. And say it, like, in context. Well, I would say to my... My China, my, my old China, Kevin Hill Jr. I say, all right, my old China. Yeah! I, and he'd know exactly what I meant. Mate, cock and hen. Is it a number or an object? It's a number. Ten. Yeah! <laughs> Cows and kisses. What the... Who do you want to give? Cows and kisses. Who do you want kisses from? Mrs. Yeah! From the missus. From the missus. Cows and kisses from the missus. Me. What? Dicky Bird. Dicky Bird. Word. Yeah, good is job. That's a good one. Thanks. You know, Dicky Bird is a famous person who uh, used to be an umpire f uh, for cricket. For like top, oh, yeah? top level cricket. I have no idea. His name was Dicky Bird. Dinky Doos. Dinky Doos. How is that Cockney rhyming slang? Dinky Doos. Is it shoes? Yeah. Ugh. Dog and bone. This is Dog a classic. And bone. Phone. Yeah, phone. Duck and dive. Duck and dive. I don't even know what the actual word is. Well, you don't know what the word is. Like after, like the word that it means. I don't know what it means. It's not jive or drive then. Skive. 
Oh, to skive. Oh, what well, does that mean? A, it means the same thing. Skive means uh, when you skive off work or you skive off school. Oh. Play, playing truant. Playing hooky? Playing hooky. Skive? Skive. Skive. Yeah. Okay. Duke of Kent. You have to be careful with that one, don't you? The Duke of Kent... Sent? Rent! Gotta pay my Duke! <laughs> yeah? No! Does, does no one say that? <laughs> no, no. Don't make any sense to me. Dustbin lid. Dustbin lid, kid. Yeah. I know that one because my great granddad used to call me and my sister the dustbin lids. Yeah? Yeah. It's cute. Yeah. Elephant's trunk. Elephant's trunk. Drunk? Yeah, but do you say that? Elephants? I, I don't say it. I don't know mm. anyone else who, who has said it, but people might say, look at him, he's elephant's trunk. Okay. Spitfire round. Spitfire round. Ten. Super fast. Okay. Let's go. Right. Fireman's hose. Pose. Flowery dell. Hell. Frog and toad. Road. Gypsy's kiss. Piss. Half inch. Mrs. Finch. Hampton wick. Hank Marvin. Starvin. Irish pig. What Wig. Isle of Wight. Tight. Jam car. Oh. Jam I, jar is no car. <laughs> I get that one right. Yeah, Ding. you get that one right. Okay, that's it. Well yeah. done. Damn it. Cockney rhyming slang. We are masters of Cockney rhyming slang, as I think you will agree. Yeah, and you can make up your own. So leave us a little comment below if you can make up your own Cockney rhyming slang to whatever word you want. Remember, the way it goes is that the second word in the phrase rhymes with the actual word you're trying to say or mean. So, yeah, that's, um, it. that's the general rule. So for like Shane and Crystal. Loaded pistol. Loaded pistol. There you go. If you yourselves would like to check out more Cockney Roman slang, then we're going to leave a link below uh, to a video um, where we learn a lot of our Cockney Roman slang from that actual video. So <laughs> go and check out that. And also if you want to watch a couple of films, British films, uh, that use a lot of Cockney Roman slang, then you can check out Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels featuring Vinnie Jones and others. And Brad Pitt was actually in a film called Snatch, which is brilliant. And I haven't seen either of those. Well, we'll go and watch them right now. And so should you, all right? But we'll see you back here on this wonderful YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to be bringing lots of content to you very yeah. soon. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, sending lots of love to you. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay inside, if you are watching this in real time. We'll see you real soon, guys. Bye. <laughs>